Let's talk about making your life easy, specifically mechanical advantage. What is mechanical advantage? Well, here you see a few men pushing a helicopter up a ramp. Well, if they were to try to lift that helicopter onto the ship, it would take a lot more than the number of men you're seeing here. And, and that's because obviously it takes a lot more force to go up, straight up, than it does to go up this gentle incline. Well, the trade-off for being able to push with less force is that you have to apply that force for a longer distance, call that DA. If you were to just lift it this short distance, the trade-off would be a larger force. Well, this is all seen through uh, conservation of energy. The work in equals the work out. And as I've labeled things, the in force is the force applied at the ramp. And that's multiplied by the in distance. By definition, work is equal to force times the distance over which that force is applied. Now, that's going to be equal to the force out multiplied by the out distance. Great. Now, we can set up a little ratio. If I uh, divide both sides by force in times distance out, well, then here these guys cancel, here these guys cancel, and I get a nice ratio of, and this is the definition of mechanical advantage, mechanical advantage is equal to the force out divided by the force in, which is also equal to the distance that you're applying that input force divided by the distance that you get out. Great. Um, another example is, for example, a screwdriver. That's why the handles on screwdrivers are so big, because it gives you a mechanical advantage. I mean, next time you're, you're screwing in the screw with a screwdriver, try just using this part, and you'll see it's not so easy. The handle is, is much larger than the output. So this, when you go in a circle, this circle here, this would be the D out, and this circle here, well, that's the D in. And you can see you get a mechanical advantage. If this circle is uh, four times this guy, then the mechanical advantage is simply four. Let's take a look at another example, the crowbar. The crowbar is definitely your friend. And here you can see a guy using the crowbar. And here we have the dimensions. And look at the way he's using it. He has this end into the wood, and he's holding it right about here. So the mechanical advantage is simply equal to, well, it's the uh, distance input divided by the distance out. The input distance is, well, this, this long length here, so that's 48 centimeters. And then the out is the 4 centimeters. So it's a mechanical advantage of 12. That means the output force that you get from this is equal to 12 times the input force. It's all about mechanical advantage in this world.